What is going on everybody? It is Nick Austin Osborne Gamer here bringing you a little bit of Assassin's Creed 3 Deathmatch gameplay. I wanted to get you some nice fresh gameplay but my capture card decided to shit on itself and die so it's unfortunate but all I get is this nice smoke bomb filled gameplay. Fuck you. That's all I can say to you lady maverick you whore. You slut. You bitch. But I digress. Not really. She's a bitch. A slut and a whore all in one. And uh, she's probably related to me. So uh, let's move on from that. Uh, I just want to take a second out of this video here to thank everybody that's been rating my videos. Every time I post an Assassin's Creed video, the first like one or two days, there's an insane like like to view ratio. And there's practically never a dislike. If you're watching this now and you want to dislike it, that's okay. You're going to burn in hell with all the viewers. So, you know, let's just uh, let's just be a little bit mature, mature about this uh, and all I can say is I think every one of you seriously it means a lot to me and if you guys are supporting my channel in other ways ie the last of us gameplay if you're not watch it click in the bottom right annotation on that screen you won't be disappointed I do nice and long videos you can watch at your leisure it's fun and it's game of your material so uh, let's just all uh, all enjoy the last of us while we can before we're all dead <laughs> but seriously, uh, something else I want to talk about. I've actually been getting a lot of messages lately. Um, one in particular asked if he could leave a video response uh, to my, one of my videos. So this is actually going to be the video that I asked you guys. If you want to leave any video responses, if you want to get your, you know, your feet off the ground when it comes to this whole YouTube thing, I know that it can be really hard. When I first started YouTube, and I'm gonna like date myself. I'm an old old YouTube man because I've been doing this for over a year now since about last April and when I first started I wasn't alone I was immediately uh, come uh, how should I say approach by a community channel called subscriber hub uh, subscriber hub is since dead but it was an awesome awesome resource in which people that had smaller channels such as myself I only had about 50 subscribers at the time uh, and actually they got me up to that point at 50 I only had like 12 subscribers when they came to me it's funny how these numbers are burned into your mind they came to me and they asked me to you know make a little video and what people would do they would take the cream of the crop it was just you know a bunch of kids only had a couple thousand subscribers and they would take the cream of the crop and they'd ask them like hey can you make a video telling people how to you know uh, do better commentaries or how to you know affect your video quality like how to bring in a new audience and uh, other things like that and I actually did like three or four videos for them I had the most videos on their channel of anybody which I thought was actually really awesome and almost a reflection of the work I had done up to that point which uh, may seem kind of minimal but it's one of those things that was really special to me when I was first making my channel and uh, without it I'm not exactly sure I'd be sitting here making a commentary for you guys so uh I've actually always had this ability to just see other people's channels. I'm not going to try and like hype myself up here. So uh, let me rephrase that. I, not an ability, but I've always had this desire to help other people in their channels. So if you have ever had a question, if you want to get your YouTube off the ground, if you want to, you know, make videos, become a content creator, you're not sure what to do. And especially if you're doing Assassin's Creed videos, I'm always willing to watch your videos. Uh, you know, I'll give advice. It has to do something with your mic or your video quality. I know a lot from the technical uh, side of it too. So uh, I'm always a really good resource. So if you guys want to leave a video response to this video right here, and then other people like yourself can see those video responses, click on them, and maybe, you know, just kind of bounce some ideas back and forth between each other. And if you see another Assassin's Creed commentator out there that's just like, hey, like, let's do a dual come together. When your new channel, Dual cons are the shit. Like, let's be honest here. Like, dual cons are like, like, there's the cool kids, like, smoking cigarettes, and then there's the kids that are, like, doing dual comms. Like, you wanna, you wanna be a dual commer. You know why? Because everybody sees dual comms has just been like, fuck, I should have done that first. Like, that son of a bitch, like, he's popular. Everybody wants to be popular. You don't want to be that, like, you know, that one kid that shows up drunk to Spanish class. And it's just like, ah, oh, Dios mio! And then it's like, man, fuck you. You're, like, fucking solo comment and shit. And I'm like, man, I am really, really off topic. But, you know, I just wanted to say, if you guys ever have any questions for me, I'm a very nice person when it comes to new channels. Don't spam me. Please don't spam. But, uh, you know, you guys can always ask. And let me just, let me just say something about the video here. This is the cutest pursuer I've ever said, and I don't say cute all the time, but uh, this guy that's stalking behind me here, 
Do you see him? You see him fast walking up to me for the last like half hour, <laughs> and then I still get a naked son of him. I I was honestly dying, so like I was laughing so hard, and I didn't want to leave that blend group to get my uh, the strong man there. I had to use the uh, did I use the gun? No, I didn't use the gun there. Something something happened, but I didn't want to lose that group because he was just like fast walking for so long, and I was just gonna see how long he was gonna keep up with it. And I was just so, so very excited. So uh, if I can just summarize what's happened in this video. I said, oh, Dios mio! And uh, talk about a new channel. So I have five whole minutes left. And you guys are just like, God damn it, Boring Gamer. I saw that title. I want you to talk about Assassin's Creed 4. And I will. After I catch my breath. Oh my god. I've been talking for quite a long time here. <laughs> you know, there's something about Assassin's Creed 4 that... Every time I see the gameplay, I think to myself, is this going to make Assassin's Creed a better series? And after playing The Last of Us, that game is seriously like super fucking stealthy, especially uh, in regard to Assassin's Creed. Like you can crouch, you know, that's a big deal. I'm pretty sure you can crouch in Assassin's Creed 4, which means a lot to me. But there's so many games that have been doing it better for even longer. And my cousin actually said it better, uh, best to me. He says, the stealth was better in Metal Gear Solid 3 for PlayStation 2. And I just wonder, do people want stealth when it comes to Assassin's Creed 4? See, the big thing that they've been advertising Assassin's Creed 4 is all this naval stuff. They actually just showed some naval gameplay where you, you know, you swim around your little boat and then you go catch whales and stuff. And, you know, that's cute and that's fun, but there's really no stealth when it comes to a boat. And uh, one of the things that I always thought about being an assassin was I thought you had to, like, climb around on walls and not be detected. So if they would show me a little bit more gameplay that had to do with being stealthy as opposed to their E3 demo, which I guess was stealthy, you probably could have like run in there. And uh, if you guys, real quick, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I did a gameplay breakdown of the E3 2013 demo. And uh, you guys can go look that up on my channel if I'm smart. I'll put a link on the screen and a link in the description down below. So that was a little bit more stealth. That was a little bit more of what I was craving, but I'm just not 100% sure if that was a demo or if that was just something that they were uh, actually trying to implement into the game because the more and more I see with this naval, the more and more I see the Assassin's Creed that I love kind of disappearing. And I'm not saying that the game's looking worse because of it, I'm just saying that the evolution of the series as I would expect it to have become by this point, you know, it's the, what is this, the uh, one, two, three, four, five, the sixth game in the Assassin's Creed series on consoles alone and they just added the crouch button like does something seem kind of wrong to you guys like have we kind of lost something in the assassin you know kind of genre uh, <laughs> i'm just wondering what do you guys think like is this like the way that assassin's creed going do you think it's going to be all combat based uh do you think that they will have a lot more stealth in this game like maybe the naval will be the combat like that will be like your action and then the actual missions themselves because you know you're such a high profile pirate you want that booty, you gotta be, you know, very incognito and not get found out because everybody does know you. The one thing that I did take away from the game is that you are a very, like, high priority person, or how should I say, you're, like, oh, you're always in high profile. <laughs> that was an amazing death. That was an amazing death. So you're always in high profile, so I take that as a cue that maybe you have to, you know, hide your identity that much more, not walking around in a hood. This whole walking around in the hood thing is such bullshit. I don't believe it for a second. After walking around in a bear costume with Connor and the Assassin's Creed Tyranny of King Washington DLC, I just don't buy it anymore. I absolutely don't. I don't care if you're wearing like a different colored cape in Assassin's Creed 2. People are going to know who the fuck you are if you start stabbing their friends in the face. And if their friends just start standing around you while you like pick them off one by one or like chain kills together, I'm just gonna, I'm just going to have to draw the line. The one thing that I'm just going to draw on The Last of Us here is that when you attacked one person, they wouldn't all stand around and start like, you know, oh, we're just gonna wait for you to like, mash our friend's face into a cabinet. They're just like, no, I'm gonna try and choke you out from behind while you're trying to stab my, you know, friend in the side with the shiv. And I appreciate that, Naughty Dog. You made my day, and you told showed me that stealth is something that can still be done right in the game. And especially if this is being done on this generation of consoles, what could happen on the next generation? It, it just means so much to me. So uh, as this video is wrapping up, things I want you guys to talk about in the comments down below. And I'm, I'm, I, I talked about so much stuff. I, I don't know why I do this to myself. We need like six different comment threads, like threaded comments for me. Because I, I swear to God I have ADHD or something.
What do you guys want in terms of the balance between stealth and combat in Assassin's Creed 4? And what do you think is going to happen? Do you think this series is going to get more stealthy? Do you ever think it really was stealthy? Uh, you know, if not, let me know. And, uh, you know, I'm Nick, also known as Born Gamer. I'm going to cut this one a little bit short because I'm rambling. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave ratings and the aforementioned comments. And that's the first place. I'll see you next time. Moving with the wind We are free falling now No choice but to trust this As we go into the void